Hello everyone, I'm Tammy Harrison and I'd like to welcome you to this good old show, Chappy Chews. Uh, <laughs> obviously, uh, this is not Tammy Harrison, this is Scott Cushman and her cohort. We uh, miss you Tammy, we'll see you next week, but uh, tonight we are here in uh, the Tammy Named Bar, awesome town, uh, and we have a great, great show for you tonight. Uh, tonight we will be doing some tiki cocktails uh, with a small twist, we'll be adding some gin, uh, and it won't just be me making cocktails, uh, it will be a amazing, amazing bar owner of Strongwater Anaheim, Robert Adamson, there he is. Look at this character. Yes, um, yes. Thank you very oh, much. Man. You know, I got, I got to notice. There's like uh, kissy marks. On uh, Tammy glass. cannot resist. Ah, she okay. cannot resist me. I didn't know what to uh, expect from you later on. So, I yeah, so a couple of uh, there are a couple up here too. <laughs> so don't worry. Uh, we are protected yes. by this uh, glass. A little hard to see, but uh, we are protected. Yes. Uh, yes. Over here. Uh, so, uh, Robert, we're going to be doing some cocktails tonight. Cool. We're going to be doing four cocktails tonight. But before we start on the four cocktails, uh, let's start off with one. Mm -hmm. uh, technically five cocktails. We're going to be doing gin. Tiki cocktails tonight. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So excited. A uh, gin tiki cocktail. So uh, I want to start off uh, just with a shot. Okay. Loosen us up. Perfect. We're like, you know, yeah. we're, we're in the new. restaurant industry. We drink to just be alive. That so is it. Yeah, yeah, we're new best friends, I think. Okay. So uh, why don't we uh, take a shot of this? Uh, this is a gin tiki cocktail uh, from a bar uh, up north uh, of here, of Awesome Town, uh, mm -hmm. that is called the Smuggler's Cove. Uh, this is a drink called the Humu Humu Nuku Nuku mm -hmm. Apu Wa A. -ah. The humu humu nuku nuku apu wa ah. The fact that you remember that, and how it's like in order, yeah. it is phenomenal. Yes, I, I, honestly, I keep telling people that how yeah. great I am, and nobody listens. Uh, we, for the next forty-five minutes, yeah. you're gonna get it all for me. I promise. So, uh, so yeah, this is uh, going to be a two ounces of gin, a three-quarter ounce lemon, three-quarter ounce pineapple. Yeah. It is going to be half an ounce of orzat, mm. or how you say it, orzat. Orzat. Uh, I've, I've not heard that one yet. I know. I, I look forward to everybody's feedback. On yeah, if you could. Instagram is strong water Anaheim. Yeah, no, yeah. YouTube is is famously nice to. Uh, different opinions. So really? Oh, you're I've good actually to heard go. good things about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah YouTube it's not Pornhub, it's YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then uh, on the top floating here, this is Pace Shots Bitters. Uh, this is a shot, not a drink. To you, my friend. Uh, Thank you. Uh, let's have a good one. For, for sure, for sure. Mm. Mm. Goes down easy. Nice and easy. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Uh, Nettle Hook, uh, Nettle Hawk saying, somebody's looking sharp. Uh, sexy Robert as, not me, uh, sir, uh, <laughs> not me, sir. Uh, sexy Robert as usual, says Daniel Booth. He's a strong <laughs> man. Uh, yeah, you know that guy? Paul Bellinardo says, yay, Tiki. Um, there is a bunch of people saying hi from the Strong Water team. I'm very excited to have all the Strong Water team uh, people uh, in here. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, mostly just my mom. She's that's got, great. Like, six different computers right so, now. Oh man, your mom is so advanced. <laughs> my mom is on my account yeah. because she couldn't figure out hers. Perfect. Yeah, not, nothing not, about my mom. Yeah, just kidding. My mom is definitely watching tomorrow. Um, let's uh, let's start. Yeah, yeah. Let's start. What do you got for us first? So the first drink I'm going to do is kind of a work in progress, but I'm excited to share with you. Um, we're going to do my riff on a single pour sling, the 1937 <sighs> version. And, awesome. Uh, so the way that I wanted to do this is this is kind of like a, it, the way that I see it at least is it's reminiscent of a Ricky. Okay. And that there's no sugar added, but there is a cherry herring which does add a little sugar. Sure, so sure, sure. I'm guessing I'm on the cusp, and um, we'll see how it goes. So today we're gonna use Bar Hill Old Tom Gin <clears throat> to throw a twist. I know it's not that normal dry gin that's supposed to go with it. Yeah. But. Um, God, it's just such a great gin. So just real quick, you say this is the 1937 version. This is not the Raffles uh, long bar version. Yeah, this, this is, is not like the Benedictine one or the pineapple juice okay. one. So it's, this one came about uh, the app pro, uh, uh, post prohibition. Yeah. Uh, do you have any like who like Don? Uh, Don. Uh, right? No, no, no. I'm so sorry. No, it's not Don. Oh, oh. oh it's not Don. Yes, yeah. They'll get laid alive for that. <laughs> Vic. You got to tell me what's your issue with Vic. Oh, what's Vic. what's up with Vic? He stole the idea from Don. <laughs> Don's my man. Vic. Vic can, Vic can take a flying leap at the moon. So the fact that Vic was a copycat, that's your... I just don't like it. I just feel <laughs> i just feel bad for Dawn. I just feel bad for Dawn. You know, you know what it is? Uh, I, I was talking to my wife about this the other day, because I come up with a craft cocktail background. Sure. And if you change the bitters in a drink, yeah. you have now created the next classic. Absolutely. But if you do it in Tiki, it's a Mai Tai. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. That's there's, probably true. Like, I know that there's a, a Mai Tai recipe, and yeah. there are specs. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy uh, from the uh, Bamboo Club. Sure. Uh, his name's Justin. 
a uh, really knowledgeable guy, and I watched him just fillet a group of people who were coming up with their own versions of a Mai Tai sure. recipe, from the yacht version of the Mai Tai to, uh, you know, what it is. And for every person that responded with a recipe, he responded with the YouTube channel to how to make it correctly. Yeah. It was the ultimate <laughs> troll. I really can't wait to high-five that guy. When uh, yeah, I honestly, I give him two for me. <laughs> give Do one of these. Do one of these. Yeah, 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 no, double high-five. I'm a big fan of the double wave. Yeah. So, uh, double high-five right. is not a problem. So, <clears throat> we did a one ounce of the Old Tom Gin. Now, what I did differently, um, for the cherry herring is I uh, infused, and I shouldn't say I, I'm, nothing I do is just me, it's we. Sure. I have a team at Strongwater, and my wife is pretty much the brains behind all of this. Um, we did a cherry infused sherry. Cherry sherry. Cherry sherry. Cherry right? sherry. easy. We, uh, Why uh, not? What do they call it when you cook it into it? Oh, when you... Uh... Sous vide? Sous vide. Yeah, sous vide. Right. Okay. Uh, his wife is here definitely <laughs> whispering lines to him. Yeah. My wife is not here whispering lines to not me. Not at all. <laughs> Yeah. So we're gonna not do fair. We're gonna do an fair. ounce of the Pedro <laughs> when, when I forget stuff, I forget it. And then I have to look like an idiot as somebody calls me out on YouTube. It's lost to the world. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have a very intelligent and um, lovely wife uh, who makes me look good when I shouldn't. All right, Mine's so. also lovely and intelligent, but she's just not here to tell me what to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> Next time we do this, we'll have everyone come too. We'll, just yes. make it a, we'll make it a double date. But I can't wait. Oh, I'm excited. Wait, so yeah. uh, what I did also, because it's the 1937 version, we did one ounce of the old Tom Gin, one ounce of the cherry infused sherry, and then half an ounce of lemon juice, and I forgot to bring my ice. Could you grab my ice for me? Oh, quick? right, we were chatting before yeah. this. We, uh, there is a, uh, uh, normally there uh, is this uh, cold draft ice. Mine is coming in this guy uh, currently, uh, but uh, Robert and I were chatting a pretty hardcore before this. He definitely told me to give him a five minute warning on ice. Uh, I definitely totally forgot. Blue. You guys wanna pass it on over Just this way? toss me the bag. Yeah, there All it goes. Right. Thank you. Thank you. This Sterling, by the way, this is lovely hands. Yeah. Thank you one more time. Sterling. Oh, so Appreciate pretty you hands. So, much. so pretty hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, people are wondering where my iPad is. Uh, I did not realize that that iPad was not our iPad. That's why I'm on my phone. Uh, is Robert Team Vic or Team Dawn? That's a great question. Uh, That's from asked, Tammy Harrison. Oh, by the way, thank you, whoever turned the air conditioner on. Holy baloney. Um, I don't get any. You don't get it? I don't get it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I guess me being your biggest fan is yeah. gonna cool you off. <laughs> thank uh, you. Sir. Um, I am, you know, it was funny, my wife asked me this on the way here, I'm neither. Oh. I am, I, I, so here's what I, we just recently did a documentary sure. called uh, uh, Dawn of Tiki. Okay. Which is the origin documentary about Dawn the Beachcomber. Sure. And we learned so much more than we thought we knew just going through the interview process. Yeah. And if it wasn't for Dawn's wife, Sunny, uh, yeah. Sunny son. Sunny son. Don wouldn't have done any of the stuff that he was. He was a lazy guy. Yeah. And which, which I can relate to because I'm totally lazy. That's why I like him so much. <laughs> That's why I like him so much. Vic was a Vic was a go getter. Yeah. Ah, but I if don't need what, that. yeah, so it would have been Vic would have been a bigger name I think if Don hadn't had or Don's wife hadn't done what she had. Yeah, done. I think you're probably right. So I would say I'm more Team Sunny. Sure, that makes it actually, you know, I am a big fan of uh, what my wife does, uh, you know, for my career. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I guess really I'm also team pandering sunny. to my wife today, and I thank you so much, honey. I'm gonna try and like talk more about myself after this, I promise. <laughs> no. I'm gonna shake real quick no, so I don't want to ruin this conversation. Oh, uh, uh, my wife just texted, uh, my wife just uh, said, wife fear. What? Wife what? fear is real. <laughs> People are saying that wife fear is real. I didn't even know that was a thing. I had no idea either, uh, but apparently that's what I suffer from. But okay. I'm, I'm a big fan of their drinks, maybe not yeah. their reasoning for existing, but the business style, the fact that Trader Vic still exists. Sure. All that stuff. Um, Dawn's still in Hawaii. <laughs> it doesn't count, I guess. <laughs> no. All, right. All right, so you are using uh, this glass right here. Yeah. Uh, what You were calling this something I liked it earlier. What was it called? Uh, I called it the V-shaped footed glass. Okay, well. Yeah. I don't know if you called. Google that and you'll get it on Webster. <laughs> I guess that is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, well, that's what we're calling it today. Yeah, I love it, the V-shaped. We call it like a hairy glass or something. Uh, I'm was sure there's a technical gonna, name yeah. for it. Uh, so it. I'm gonna top this off. Now, normally this drink calls for soda water. Yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit more of a cherry effect, so I'm gonna do a little cherry soda. Um, just to kind of give it an ounce of that. The original recipe calls for an ounce and a half. And you know what, let's just get one more cherry element. A little cherry bitters. Ooh. I like a little roundness. Baby. I know. Am I, it's am my I, favorite. Am I doing this for you? Mm. Good. God. I love it. We should, oh, we should never be left on. alone. Give it to me. <laughs> give it to me. Tiki guy, the only person that Don Beach ever gave all of his recipes to. Really? I was yeah, met him, aware of that. He met him on uh, met him on Hawaii after Don was sort of done being a uh, Don. Uh-huh. Uh, and he uh, gave him the thing, he gave him a bunch of stuff like the uh, Don's mix number one, uh, mm. the gardenia mix, so the reason that some of that stuff exists is because Stephen Crane, who 
A big fat liar, that guy. Oh my guy. goodness. All oh, right. all for me? Yeah. Oh sure. man, this is why Tammy has that great job. <laughs> I forget that this I just have This is why she's always smiling. Oh, oh boy. I hope you dig it. Oh uh, boy. Like I said, it's a little work in progress. I like that, uh, but I, uh, it's got a lot of flavor going on. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come off it. They're, the two cherries uh, are definitely doing two different things in there. The, mm -hmm. the bubbly cherry yeah. uh, you got in there, that cherry bitters, which is a favorite ingredient of mine. Yeah, it rounds um, the whole drink off and just boosts it enough. Um. Uh, the uh, the original Singapore Sling, or the uh, yeah the, the, the Benedictine Singapore Sling, holds a, an interesting place in my bartending history, mm -hmm. which is I've never had one returned. So That's when great. people walk up and they say like, will you make me something? Yeah. And then they don't give you any more information. You know that. You're like, I don't know who you are. Like, what do you want me to do with that information? Uh -huh. I will make you a drink. Yeah. I always go to the Singapore Sling. Really? Because it seems to get huh. everybody going. Yeah. Uh, but I might actually start making this version. This is, I don't use this word often. This is bomb. Oh, wow. Thank you. I'm too old to be saying, or maybe I'm, Maybe I'm just old enough. We didn't to be drink that. before. No, mm. That's great. Too so old. I think Too it old. might be. I think it might be. I think maybe the, the kids aren't saying that is what I'm saying. I think I might be uh, too old to not be saying that. Uh, it's a good thing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited that you're excited about this. This is spectacular. So uh, we I'm roll out with this. a new menu in March, and this will be one of those drinks that goes. This will be on the new menu mm -hmm. in March, which you can get uh, to go. Yes, sir. If you are in Anaheim, absolutely. you can absolutely, uh, how, like, how would they get there? Uh, you just go onto our website, and then um, you go through our uh, Grocery and Grogs um, tab. Is it Grocery and Grogs? Curbside. Oh, curbside tab. <laughs> So I, don't, I don't order a lot so of food lucky. through my <laughs> website. Uh, but we go through a curbside tab, and you can order these cocktails to go. We'll have a new menu uh, March 1st, and then we'll, of course, have our new Tiki mug, which is the Zombie King, which will be available at that time, too. So. Uh, I am getting some comments. Uh, people are loving my T-shirts. It is a red. Thank you. This yes. is from The Undertow in Phoenix. Thank you, uh, Cozy Mom. It's a, little... a bomb has been retired, I think, says Danny Vasquez. Uh, Danny Vasquez always giving me some garbage, so I'm not going to take that. Well, I'm not going to take that from Bomb has been retired, apparently. Uh, Danny Vasquez, big fan of the show. Huge fan. For no reason. He just <laughs> loves our show so much. He just watches it all the time. So uh, thank you, Danny, for being a fan of mine. I appreciate that. Uh, why don't we just go ahead and get into that next cocktail? Can we do another one for me? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'd, love, I'd love it yeah, if you did. Uh, so yeah. uh, we started off with a, uh, a sort of a, a, a retooled classic. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you got next? So the next one I'm gonna do is the Saturn. Yes. And what I like about the Saturn is it's an yes. Orange County cocktail. Is that right? It is. It was originally created in Orange County. And no there are kidding. two histories to this that I find kind of interesting. Now there's a Jeff Berry history that says that it was created in Orange County for uh, an engineer for the, I'm gonna say this wrong, XR-71, the one that broke the sound barrier, has the only sound barrier record at this point. At SR. Like, SR-71, thank you so much. I, I, when I don't know, I just fill in the gaps. It's sort of like Jurassic Park. I just yeah, yeah, my own absolutely. Name. A little old frog DNA <laughs> in, your, uh, <laughs> yeah, in, your, in your information. Life will find a way. Yes. Uh, uh, nice. But there's a, a gentleman on Reddit that went through and did a background history, like a fact check on Jeff Barry's stuff, and found uh, some inconsistencies, which I always thought was fantastic. So I kind of got to base myself off the dual history of the whole thing. Um, but yeah, it was an Orange County cocktail. It was supposed to be, according to Jeff Barry, a winner of an Orange County uh, a, a UBI, BIU. Uh, bartender. Oh, the uh, the I, the IBA. IBA. The IBA. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was I an that IUD. One. That's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, the say. IUD. Yes. It was a winner of an so, IUD. Uh, Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> we will only be having one Saturn. We will not be reproducing. Right. The right. Right. right, right. This will yeah. make you sterile. Anyway, so <laughs> the International Bartender Association, the yeah. IBA. That's uh, when you when you finally get a drink on the IBA, you have truly made it as a bartender. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh, so I think that came around in like the early '60s or something huh. like that. Yeah. So it's an orange kind of cocktail. Oh, I love it, man. Yeah. Good. 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 A little roots. Yeah. Little yeah. Roots. Uh, as you're doing that, I do want to say that there, uh, we can stop the conversation with the bomb. Bomb is a real word, everybody. People are really giving me uh, something about the bomb. Not in an airport, though. No, 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 no don't say that. <laughs> uh, I do want to, uh, I do want to say uh, hello to uh, Reed Landers, the apostle of Tiki, uh, who definitely recognizes this mug oh, uh, nice. as the Zombie King. There you are. Uh, very, very excited that uh, uh, Reed is. Reed knows more about Tiki than I do. <laughs> uh, he, if uh, it doesn't make it on this show, I'll just make it for you on the side. And you yes. Can see me. Yeah, yeah, Reed, he might be making me one. I might sneak a little bit to you. Whatever the case may be. We're so gonna what do we on. have going in here? So we're going to do a little Ford's gin. Sure. Uh, it's a little known gin. Not a lot of people use it, but uh, I enjoy it a lot. Sure. That's sarcasm for most of you. <laughs> right, right, of course. Uh, the, uh, which is like the second language of bartenders. Yeah, yeah. What I like about this bottle, um, if you're, if everyone's not familiar with it, is that it's the it's the reusability of it, the upcycleness of it. Sure. That it's created to be held from here, uh, also from here and here. And then it has the measurements on the back. So when you're done with the bottle, it's huh. a great thing to add just juice to. 
or your syrups. So when we have all of our batch bottles and stuff like that, because Tiki is 17 steps of a drink, sure. we batch our rums, we reuse these bottles. So it's That's a, awesome. It's a really great bottle. I love the upcycling uh, in like trash Tiki and all that stuff. Oh, it makes me so yeah, happy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's why we uh, started dehydrating our garnishes because the yeah. waste from fresh garnishes was too much. Too much. Uh, my too much. my new thing now is to try. I just found out that you can create silicone molds at home. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And so it's sort of like resin. You combine these well, two gels together. Tomorrow. Right. No. And then what I was gonna do is take all of my citrus and make rock candy out of it as swizzles. And then I would be able to reuse all of my citrus to make swizzles. Something to look forward to yeah. in strong water Anaheim. That sounds awesome. If you don't die from the alcohol, you will from the diabetes. Yeah, I mean, listen, come on. Diabetes is going to take us all <laughs> foot by foot. Yes, yes, step by step, my friends. <laughs> um, let me just research uh, for. I, I had everything in order down here, and then I started moving it. Yeah. And now I can't find. Okay, lemon juice. There we go. Lemon juice. We're going to do. Um, when I get nervous, I forget everything, so I'm just looking down here to make sure I'm doing this right. Half an ounce of lemon juice. So we're doing an ounce and a half of Ford's Gin, half an ounce of lemon juice. Um, well, Tammy wants to know if we are wearing matching brooches. We are wearing matching brooches, well, Tammy. Well, thank Tam. you. Yes. We, and we uh, press them together through the glass, but I, that I won't love, show up on camera. I love uh, pins. I'm like a little <laughs> kid with stickers. This is like a grown-up sticker. I got really excited about it. We should do a scratch and sniff pin. I just don't... Oh, s God. Right? Yeah. A little tiki, little flower, little rose. I don't know, man. Uh, the, uh, the prevailing team to be on is Team Ying. Uh, so congratulations uh, to Robert's wife. Uh, team Don, uh, Team Vic, not a thing. Team Ying oh, is the man. place to be. So my, my, uh, my, like, congratulations. I compliment you for saying her name correctly as well. Thank oh, you that. is that not right? Oh, no, Ying is right. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. I, it drives her nuts because she told me this once, and I use it all letters. the time. To pronounce her name, it's like the word play Ying yeah. without the PLA. Yeah. Ying. Easy. Yeah, because uh, uh, relatives of mine still call her Yang and Ling and, yeah. Ying, that's good. I Get know, it's, ex life. it's exactly. Get out of your life, is silly. <laughs> silly, I won't be having it. Oh, it's hot and I'm almost done, I'm almost done. It's gonna take me half an hour to make this one drink. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's all good. Uh, uh, so what is it, what's going on in here? So we're doing a little bit of Velvet Falernum sure. next. Um, I'll go through this whole thing again, because we have not. Yeah, been, we've, uh, I, I've been we, No, no, that's, I mean, that's the whole point, right? <laughs> is is. To, to yammer on and make it look cool. And a little, so the, the, the Orzat. 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 It's French, right? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure I got it. I think, right. yes, it's a, a orgeat is French for oat water. Oh, uh, technically originally made of oat, yep. uh, now made of almonds. Well, nobody likes oatmeal water, really. Nobody would like oatmeal water. <laughs> unless they, uh, of course, unless you uh, you uh, ferment it and then you have beer. And that's the best. That's the good stuff. I'll hear good things about that, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's beer's beer's okay. That. Beer's okay. All right, so I'm going to do, so what I've done is uh, an ounce and a half of the four gin, a half an ounce of lemon, a half an ounce of passion fruit, a yep. quarter ounce of falernum, and a quarter ounce of, um, uh, oh my god, quarter ounce of orzot. 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 Sure. Yeah, yeah. Almond stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna shake this bad boy Yeah, out. of course, why not? <clears throat> and uh, while that's sitting there for a minute, I'm just gonna do my glasses, my little Pilsner glass. I love that. It's, it's a baby Pilsner glass. Baby Pilsner glass. Yeah, it looks like a Pilsner glass got put underneath that uh, that hydraulic press. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is like the most brilliant thing in the world. Who would have thought watching stuff get crushed was gonna be the No idea why I learned internet Martin sensation. Or have a personality. I don't know why I learned either of those two things. <laughs> I could have just bought a, a, a press and uh, made a billion dollars on YouTube. I know, I know. We picked the worst industries. We you? really did. Yeah. <laughs> we really did. So shake it up. Uh, you know, the Tammy dance. The Tammy dance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. I'm gonna. I'm actually. Uh, I'm gonna feel uncomfortable if you don't Tammy dance with me. So I wanted to do a Tammy dance while I was doing this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't research enough for the. Tammy I will dance, show you. I'll show you. But I'm excited you. for uh, your direction. Trust me. We will get the Tammy dance going down. Okay. Uh, nobody doesn't like Tam Tam, but. So are you familiar with the uh, Gaz Regan? God rest his soul. No. Gaz Regan? Okay, Gaz Regan. Gaz oh, Re Re like, Re like Regan uh, uh, bitters and whatnot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you used to say that uh, the way you shake is the way you make love. Sure. So I've always been trying to smile more. <laughs> and then while yeah, I shake too. Your wife's too. suddenly not here. Why is your wife not here? You started shaking and your wife left. Yeah. <laughs> Why did that happen? Uh, Bizarre. She's such a sweet yeah. girl. Really. Yeah. I think I may have talked my way through uh, a short pour on that. Yeah, that's all right. All right, let's see what it tastes like first. Yeah, yeah, you uh, you send that over to me. I'll Queen. be back over here in uh, Slingtown. There you go. Mm. Mm. Oh. No, I did that right. Um, but I just didn't think it shook enough. Yeah. So it's a little strong. Sure. Um, but so, uh, yeah, when you don't shake a cocktail enough, what you aren't doing is you aren't breaking up enough, uh, up enough of that ice. Uh, every cocktail, whether you want it to or not, has some water in it. So it is important uh, to get those shakes uh, down. Mm -hmm. uh, you will often uh, get a short pour in a, uh, in a bar because, uh, you know, 
two dudes will just be talking to each other. I know, right? Hanging out and we'll forget that we... Uh, I'll work on being a better me. That's what I'm gonna try to do next. No, no, you're doing great. <clears throat> I, uh, so that's a little passion fruity forward. But oh, wow, that the, is passion fruit the forward. The balance of it, when I shake it correctly, is more herbaceous. The Sorry, what was the passion fruit you threw in there? It's a, a small hands. Oh, great, oh, yeah. just like just the syrup. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh um, my gosh. Mm. So uh, mm. when we... We'll shake it. The better dilution would get that uh, that herbaceousness, the herbaceousness, the uh, the, uh, the juniperness and the sure. herbaceousness from the Ford's gin. Uh, it's a great balance. It's one of our biggest selling cocktails. I uh, love it. As far as classic, it's awesome. Go. It's so good. Good. Mm. Good. Good. Mm. All right. I feel like I've done a lot of talking. I'd love yeah. For you why to don't make I make us a cocktail? That's real a great quick. idea. That's why a great. Why don't idea. I make us a cocktail? I feel like at some point uh, your little arms are going to give out. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, make a cocktail. Uh, this drink uh, has a few names. Mm. I couldn't I couldn't get the name down. Okay. Uh, today we're gonna call be calling it the Double Dawn. Mm. The Double Dawn. All right. Uh, also called the Drifter's Gold Fizz. Okay. Uh, also called the Blanding Gin Ramos. Blanding. Or the Gin, gin Blanding Ramos. I could see how that would not make a good seller. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, so Dawn Blanding. Yeah. Don Blanding, one of my uh, one of my favorite poets. Oh, good. Cool. Oh, so I just time. insulted somebody because I thought it was. He's been dead since the, <laughs> since the fifties. Oh, so. good. You're good. If his family's He's watching, not... I just want to apologize. Yes. And... If the Blanding family is watching yes. this show, let me just secret. Nope. Go oh, ahead. yes. Blanding Team Ying. <laughs> so that's good that the Blanding <laughs> team is Team Ying yes. uh, on this one. Um, uh, Don Blanding was the poet laureate of Hawaii. Oh, wow. Uh, he was born about 14 years before Don Beach, mm -hmm. uh, but both of them found Hawaii at about the same time. Cool. Now, both of these guys, uh, now, who knows exactly where Don Beach was born? We know the story. Was he born in Texas? Was he born in- Texas, Louisiana, Texas. Louisiana, Texas, Florida. Texas, yeah. some, he says that he was born in Asia for a while. Like, he's, he's had all the stories. That's what I love about this I don't know man. why his marriage only lasted five years. Yeah, well, a few of them only lasted, <laughs> yeah. And then she stole everything, yeah. Uh, stole, she deserved everything. She deserved, uh, she deserved it, everything. It, I mean, if you look at the history of it, she actually, so before she married him, uh -huh. when she was like 19 or 20, sure. she tried to, uh, she, she got engaged to a guy, and then when he broke off the engagement, she tried to sue him for $150,000, and ended up losing the lawsuit. So she was on her way one way or another. Yeah, I'm a yeah. little less Team Sunny at this point. <laughs> I'm back to Team Don, and here we go. Back to Team Don. So uh, I wanted to create a cocktail uh, for today that took a uh, a Southern classic, mm -hmm. something that like everybody that is uh, that is in the South has probably had, and I wanted to give it a Hawaiian twist Solid. on it. So I'm doing this one, the Double Don. It's Don Blanding and Don Beach, as if they had met in Hawaii and come up with cocktails together. You want to call it the Double D? <clears throat> Damn it. <laughs> okay, fine, this cocktail has four names then. It's got four names. The double D with a side of Dawn. The yeah, double D with a side of Dawn no, is what we're gonna call this one. Uh, so uh, this one is going to be in the uh, yeah, in the spirit of a Gin Ramos Fizz. Uh, so I wanted to find a gin. I was looking all over for a place uh, to, to have, that has a gin that I could use. Instead, I infused this gin into what I'm now calling Dr. Kush's Tiki Gin Blend. With a last name like Kush, I don't yeah. know if you should be in this industry. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I've been told that a few times. Uh, and my uh, my uh, bartending name is Kush Tender, uh, which is very close to Bud Tender. Yeah. Uh, I do try and put as much weed into my body as I can, and drinks, and drinks. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, that's so how I've gotten my dad body over the last. Dude, <laughs> I'm not a dad, and I got the bod for some reason. Well, you're ahead of and your time. The new, uh, the new balances. Oh, good. Um, oh. <laughs> So what, it, what went into your gin? So uh, so this is gin, and I just wanted to find two ingredients that were in a lot of gins anyway, so I put in some allspice. Okay. A lot of gins have that allspice going in there, and some cinnamon. I wanted to pull out that cinnamon. Oh yes, absolutely. I, I'm sorry, as a connoisseur. As a connoisseur. So mm -hmm. uh, this I made by, uh, there we go. Thanks, I made this uh, by flash infusing uh, with my uh, with my eye 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 whipper. Yeah. Or EC Whipper, I EC, I don't know what it is. Uh, uh, with some cin oh, yeah, cinnamon and allspice. Right. So we're gonna be putting in two full ounces of this. Like so what this is in place gin. of would be something like falernum. Uh, would be something like allspice dram. Yeah. So I don't have to add any more sugar to it. I can keep it sort of nice and open. Yeah. Uh, but the gin is flavored there. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. I think you've got a. I think you've got a market here. I uh, honestly, I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm working no, on it. No. Uh, next thing we got to do, we got to sweeten this bad boy up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's dry as balls. That is dry. Yes. I that mean, is that balls would be dry. I don't know what balls yeah, taste like, what but I just know. know. Oh fuck it. That's how that works. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that works. Hopefully, it's called enough. A, it's called a hole. You just enough talc, you will yeah. get it going. Uh, this is going to be some pineapple gum. 
Oh yeah, love pineapple gum. Yeah. This is uh, just a little homemade pineapple gum. We're gonna be putting in three quarters of an ounce. This is made with gum arabic, mm -hmm. uh, arabica. Which is small rabbits. If you guys yeah, know. made of tiny little itty bitty adorable Please rabbits. Please don't take anything I say seriously. <laughs> yeah. uh, next thing I want to put in here, uh, normally the Gin Ramos Fizz uh -huh. has some heavy cream. Yes. I've cut the heavy cream out. We're going coconut milk in here. Ooh, Ooh oh, baby. Can I put my, no, no, I can't. Yeah, I can't. You, yeah, after I'm done. Okay, <laughs> you're good to go. <laughs> Tammy won't be kissing the window anymore if I do that. Uh, so we. <laughs> Probably for the best. <laughs> the best. Uh, is she really this tall though? I don't remember her being. No, no, no. A, she had a, there's just a little kiss face down yeah. here for people that can't see it. Sorry, uh, it's like Tammy. a focal point. I don't yeah. mean to take away from <laughs> what's is, going on. It's tough not to look. Yeah. All this, all this. Uh, yeah, it's lots to look at. Uh, next thing we want to add is going to be the uh, the white of one egg. Mm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So I just uh, find it easier just to use the egg whites in uh, here. That's about that's going to be about three quarters. For the purists, we weren't trying to circumvent that. We no. just couldn't get an egg. We oh, just time. couldn't get an egg in yeah, here. Yeah, the chicken. Exactly true. That the is chicken's exactly. agent canceled at the last minute. <laughs> he was total cock. And that was it. <laughs> I just lost that stupid, stupid chicken. Mm. Uh, we're going to squeeze one half of a lemon here in here. We're looking for. Mm. Uh, looking for half an ounce. Yeah, yeah. So no. I think uh, I, I was just lemon. watching your uh, uh, lemon peels express themselves across there. This is such a yeah. That's uh, the real reason this is up. Uh, <laughs> I definitely sprayed Tammy. Uh, you, Tammy will mention that here in just a second. Uh, you know when you I hit it all, a, a certain age and you're looking at all of the different colors of sponges in an aisle and going, ah, oh, which one's gonna be my favorite? Yeah. Instead of the how much vodka can I afford right. in a gallon? Yeah, know, yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Where's the ramen section? Yeah, yeah that's absolutely. <laughs> Um, next thing, we got to bitter this guy up. Uh, I'm going to use these guys, the uh, tiki bitters. I'm oh, sure you've God. seen these yeah. guys. The yeah, oh, it's a religion unto itself. Very, very good stuff. Uh, we're going to do a full uh, spray or a full uh, tuberu of that. Solid. And uh, in order to keep our, yep. in order to keep our, uh, yeah, the uh, the uh, Ramos gin fizz still alive in this. Every ingredient has changed uh, except for the orange flower water. Mm -hmm. Two big dashes. One, two, mm -hmm. right there. Lordy B. Why not? No. Uh, really, you're not going to taste a lot of the orange mm -hmm. uh, in here. Mm -hmm. uh, the orange is going to end up just sort of smoothing this whole thing out. Uh, let's go ahead and put some ice in here. Now we're going to use, we're going to do the reverse dry shake in order to fluff this guy up. Solid. So when we do the reverse dry shake, we know we shake with ice first. We take that ice out and then we shake again with no ice. Here we go. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh. I was going to shake. Tammy dance. This is what, the Tammy dance. dance. Yes, yes, yes. It's yes. this. I assume that has it's it's so little motion. Yeah, it's just like you're honestly you're just suggesting the dance. Gotcha. That's what we're doing. Uh, you can move your hands a little bit over here, but it's just you're just sort of suggesting that you're dancing. I'm gonna you're suggest not going to suggest that out. people follow Tammy on Instagram. Yes. That yes. that shake is it's uh, pretty spectacular. Yeah. All right, on the count of three, one two three. He's got the Tammy dance over it. here. I'll be shaking. Ready? One two yeah. three. There it is. That is the Tammy dance. All right, so that is the. Uh, Ooh, I thought the, you were gonna go for the full 15 minutes. No, I no, that is the wet shake version of this. <laughs> now we have to do the dry shake version of this. We're gonna blast take... my quads on that one. <laughs> we are continuing on <laughs> here. We are just we want this ice out of here so that we can give this a big, fat, dry shake. Uh huh. Now, ready? Oh, I'm gonna do it again. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you All have right. any improvements you want to make on the Tammy dance? Uh, I'll improvise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, here yeah. we go. All right. On the count of three, Tammy dance. Everybody one, at home. Two, yes, <laughs> please. Oh, they got a three, one, two, three. It's so much quieter. Like, I oh, feel like yeah. I should talk oh, the to Tammy dance is much weirder when, yeah. it's, when it's a quiet shake. This isn't being recorded, <laughs> is it? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> all right, just, all right. We can we'll, call it. It. we'll call it, we'll call it. All right, We're I appreciate uh, saving me a little bit of humility there. <laughs> Thank you, you're welcome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. It's over. I was told that there's none left. So uh, now I'm going to be serving this in an upside down pineapple glass right nice. here. We're just going to pour this out since there is no ice anywhere in here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Looks right excellent. up to the top. Uh, now what we are of course going to be waiting for is for this drink to separate. We need this foam to come to the top, and we need the rest of the drink to fall. Can you soda away? 
Uh, no, no, I actually have soda water. Oh, okay. Uh, I will be using, uh, that's... You, oh, you the world-famous LaCroix? The LaCroix, I'll be using passion fruit LaCroix. Mm. Uh, it does add uh, just a touch, but I do like to serve this with the can so that as you're drinking, uh -huh. uh, you can add just a touch more soda water okay. uh, as it's good. going. Uh, so it's not you, like when you pay for a Red Bull and vodka and you only get this much Red Bull. Right, exactly. Gotcha. No, I try and be uh, charitable. I lost my breath. There was a lot of shaking. <laughs> I am so out of shape. I, I, uh, honestly, when the restaurant industry opens up, I think we should shorten the hours just to allow people to get their breath. Is that a, is that like a bill I can sign? Or like, a, <laughs> you know, is there somewhere I can definitely put all um, of my money towards that? There's only so much Red Bull and espresso available. Oh my God, I can't take it. I know. All right. Uh, so this looks like it is separated. We have a nice little foam head uh, up here. We're going to go ahead and pour until that foam sticks out just a touch, uh, right up there at the top. We have uh, the Ramos uh, Fizz. Now, I wanted to make a quick little, uh, there it is. I wanted to make a quick uh, little garnish uh, that is going to look like uh, the mint from the south, yes. the island from the- I love uh, it. By the way, he got this boy. mint at the 99 cent store and it's beautiful. Yeah, right? it is I'm paying so like $15 great. a bag for the same thing. Guys, there's a mint racket. We need to go after this. I'm just saying. Quick, hand it to me before yeah, it falls yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, it's falling over, it's falling over. It's falling over, I should've done it just quite, uh, uh, Go ahead and grab the, uh, the straw. Uh, yes. That would be the way to go at right. this one. This is uh, the Double Dawn or the Drifter's Gold Fizz. I like the Double Dawn. Yeah. Because you know, like uh, the, the cool thing about names is like it gives a story. Yeah. You can't tell the story if it's not Double Dawn. I'm like, well, who are these two Dons? Yeah. Well, yes, that's true, yeah. that's true. Uh, the, the Drifter's Gold was one of uh, uh, Don Blanding's uh, books of poetry, but I don't think that anybody did. Sure, that's a little deep. That. Yeah. That's a little too much. Yeah, no, I, and I, I get like, it and I appreciate it. I was a comparative literature major, so I, uh, I get a little That's deep why you're a like bartender. That's why I'm a yeah. bartender. <laughs> you have nailed it, sir. You I'm gonna tell you right it. now, I have a bachelor's degree in psychology <laughs> yeah. and a bachelor's degree in graphic design, and I'm standing right next to you. Yeah, there we go, cheers. Yay! <laughs> mm. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, there's layers. I can taste the passion fruit. I yeah. can taste the... Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, the, the gin comes through like it speaks to yeah. me because that... that because what you have with that such a dry gin yeah. is the ability to add more flavor to it, which I think is fantastic. Yeah, it's approachable. I'm about to cry. I've been working on this drink about for, for, for about the past three days nonstop. Thank you. If I could just, <laughs> there we go. Now it's on both sides. Perfect. <laughs> they didn't know you wore the same shape. <laughs> so, all right. Very well done, my friend. Very well done. I appreciate that, man. It was, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's great. Uh, why don't we have one more cocktail together? One more shot. Uh, actually, we have. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can't squeeze in the Zombie King too. We got sure. a, we got a few minutes, so uh, let's go ahead and knock this next one out that you have. Sure. This one's called uh, Gin of the Jungle. Great. And so uh, that's such a great name. You like that? I really oh, do. Good. I uh, really do. Gin so of the Jungle. One of the things I was exploring while I found this out, and um, I think it's kind of unique. I was trying to find out like, what's the formula for a classic cocktail? Yeah. And the classic cocktail formula is it has to be simple. Yeah. And it has to be interchangeable. Yeah. All the ingredients need to be resourced. So I like this is one of the things that kills me. There are so many prohibition laws in such a modern time. Like if you go to Michigan, you have to buy and, and don't get me wrong if I'm wrong about Michigan, but let's just say somewhere in the Midwest, you have to buy a case instead of a bottle. Yeah, like, you really? can't buy a single bottle. You can't break a case. And the availability of things isn't as abundant in the Midwest as it is on the East and West Coast. Sure. So, I mean, that's why you don't see like world-class bars popping up in the middle of, you know, uh, someplace in Tennessee. Right. Uh, because the, uh, so if you have something like, say, as uh, simplistic and brilliant as the Manhattan. Yeah. And you don't have a bourbon, you can switch up a rye. If you don't have a scotch, you can, or, or maybe you have a scotch, you can yeah. switch it out. And it's still a great drink. Right, right, right. If you don't have vermouth, you can use an Amaro. Sure. And it's still a great drink. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. formula works every single time. And so, uh, this drink that I'm about to make for you has absolutely nothing to do with what I just said. Sure, great. Right? Oh, good. Well, we're 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 vamping for time, so I goodness. just found yeah. something out and wanted to share. Yeah, no, I love it. I think that you are. I think you're right on. Oh, cool. All right, so what we're gonna make today is gin of the jungle, and so one of my favorite gins is Uncle Val's botanical gin. Uh, this is not a comfortable price point for a lot of bar owners sure. or people, yeah. but it makes a great drink and it sings in this cocktail. Um, it was, and one of the things I learned while owning a bar is that there should never be a comfortable price point. There should be a, com I'm sorry, there should be a comfortable price point, but there should just be something just fucking ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to cuss. No, that's all right. Okay, that's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. We used to serve $180 Pappy Old Fashioned. 
And sure. we sold out of that in three months and we had five years worth of inventory. There on really that. is something about that that some people really do like. They, they, they associate it with the price. Maybe this will be so much better. Sure. And honestly, I think it might end up being because you do then take your time with that drink. Nobody is taking shots <laughs> of the pap, the $180 Pappy Old Fashioned. No. Like no. you're appreciating the, the, the same time that bartenders have taken like to put in to create that cocktail. Uh -huh. I mean, if I build by the hour for how I created this last cocktail, that's, you know, that's a $200 drink. Easy. Now, of course, that's not how it works, but we yeah. take the time, so we sip. Uh -huh. You pay the money, then you sip. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so uh, I think it's one of those things where people like to show up. Sometimes yeah. they like to, they want to um, provide their friends with something that they feel is like money is a compensation for my attention and love and, yeah, and appreciation. Yeah. So there should be always a range. It should just never be like everything's 13 ducks. Right, right. 13 ducks. <laughs> I, uh, 13 ducuts. <laughs> Apple That'd be the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I did was I did an ounce and a half of the Uncle Val's uh, botanical gin. I'm gonna do an ounce and a half of a fresh pineapple juice, non-sweetened, which uh, it took me a long time to figure this out. Non-sweetened means it's not in the can. Right. That's it. Um, uh, people it, loved our dancing, it looks like. They really, really were fans of that. Damn it, uh, didn't wanna keep doing uh, that. I got uh, Tia Baker saying, go Robert, go. Yay, Tia. Uh, the Double Dawn is sounding dirty, we're getting. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty good, I guess. Yeah. Uh, well, the double Island D garnish, was... they love it. Uh, yeah. Did you want to do a shot of paprika syrup? You mentioned. Oh that. yes! Oh All god! Right. Yes! Oh my god! Yes! It's just sugar. It's that's what I want. Sugar and paprika. Yeah. Uh, here, yeah. do it in my. Uh, here, put it into the uh, the jigger. I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm, using it anymore. I'm worried about your well-being if you're making these types of decisions. But I mean, what am I gonna All do? Right. What am I gonna do? <laughs> oh baby! Yeah. Oh paprika so syrup. So we roasted the paprika friend. a little bit, and then we incorporated it into mm. our two to one simple syrup. Uh, oh, wow. Two to one simple syrup is like rock candy syrup. Same thing. Two to one simple syrup. So don't go over the top. Um, I'm the worst when it comes to putting things back where they're supposed to be. <laughs> so I keep setting things down and thinking I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I'll resource that right back. I was gonna say you'll get better, but you'll only get worse oh, at that. <laughs> it just doesn't, that's not a skill that gets picked up later. <laughs> no. So one of the things we're gonna do with this, because I love the freshness of the gin, we're gonna use a little poblano. Um, when it's in season, we use an Anaheim chili pepper. A little heat with the gin. Yeah, yeah, yeah why nice. not? Um, I, I'm a big fan of a little bit of the seeds because I feel like that provides the heat, so we're just gonna put the core in there too. Ooh. Boom! Do you, do you have an affinity to spice? I love it. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. fan. When I, um, whenever I make a drink, uh, whenever we design a cocktail menu, there always has to be a spicy drink on oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, gotta yeah. be. Okay, cool. We're doing that actually now. We're, do, we're redoing the, um, the El Diablo. Oh, nice! Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the tequila, that's a, yeah, a big drink. Ginger yeah. beer, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> anyway, so, oh, <laughs> so <pick. laughs> I'm gonna put on the menu Scott approved and Scott yeah, approved. Yeah, please, if you yeah. could. <laughs> uh, so what we did is uh, we did a little bit of grapefruit bitters um, and lemon juice. So uh, if you haven't seen it yet, all of these recipes are on my Instagram at Blackstrap Rob. Great. Uh, Blackstrap Rum is one of my favorite rums. Oh, so I play with it all the time. Good one. And so uh, that's why it's Blackstrap Rob, not the other reason you're thinking of when I say it out loud. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> <All right. laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, <laughs> Man, a couple more drinks and this yeah, is gonna I get mean, a lot goodness. more awkward. Very nice. I'm super excited. There's another reason this is up. <laughs> it's actually a protective shield yeah. to keep, it, keep it us apart. Um, this is not a traditional bar, so if you're wondering why I'm combining tins like this, it's yeah. not to, uh, it's, it's not that it's not a traditional bar, it's a beautiful bar, whoever built it, I'm sorry about that. But it might snap uh, in half. But <laughs> I'm afraid, like usually I just slam these yeah. things together and then everything shakes yeah, yeah. and then the speakers go out and everyone's like, what the hell? <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, one and a half ounces of Uncle Val's, one and a half pineapple, half lime, or sorry, half lemon, half paprika, a dash of grapefruit bitters, and a thick slice of poblano. Oh, that sounds awesome. Cool. Now, I right. will do Tammy Dance, there is some call for it, so here we go. Ready? Everybody at home, stand up. Yep. Or sit Let's down. get Tammy Dance going. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Very so good. what's funny is every time you ever see a bartender do a show or something like that, they wear these fucking jackets. Yeah. Nobody bartends in these jackets. No, no, no. But I look cool, right? You do. Uh, uh, the uh, the uh, drink right down the uh, the front is a really good look. Uh, okay. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, uh, oh, there's a good name for it. I can't think of it. I'll come up with it in a second. Yeah. Um, okay. So. Uh, Ooh, what nice a pretty glass. Snifter glass. So I was explaining to Scott here, there is a uh, Goodwill. You guys familiar with yeah, yeah, of course. If you're not familiar with this yet, <clears throat> and you have the time to Google it, there's a place called Rare, which is the higher-end Goodwill. 
right? Right? I hope I blew everyone's minds right no, now with yeah, the idea just... that there's a higher end goodwill. And you get things like this, this beautiful glassware. Um, everyone was complimenting us on our, our little pineapple holder. It's awesome. Also, right? $1.99. Anyway, uh, you know, we could go QVC after this if you guys want to. We could yeah, yeah, we coffee. really should. Yeah. Oh, we Any of the bowls do. bottles are $49.99.95, which so shipping is free. It's a and steal. If you buy three bottles, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of them will be full. We will drink the contents and send you everything as we go. Um, so anyway, now that we've done that, I'm going to double strain it because nobody likes a lot of poblano. Oh, oh, so sorry. I'm not uh, very Hollywood. Apologies. That's all right. You know what I didn't do? Oh, the Saturn thing! Cheese and rice. I spent all this time. So the Saturn garnish. The Saturn garnish. Such a brilliant garnish. I'm so sorry I didn't do that. I left. I let myself down. We'll all remember it. There we go. Try it now. See how it is with a little dilution while I'm doing this. All right. So, better. Way better. Wait, okay, cool. Yeah. So we're gonna do a little double Same. strain on this because we don't want a lot of poblano in our teeth. Sure. I'm always uh, when um, the last restaurant that my wife and I used to own, which we will not uh, say by name, was uh, the fourth most romantic restaurant in the United States. In uh, two years ago today, that is a uh, that is a distinction. That's who gives it? Michelin. Who gives out that distinction? There's a uh, a very popular website. I'm sure you've never heard of it. It's called Yelp. Yelp, Yelp. sure. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's wow. favorite review site. Wow. Um, so out of a hundred restaurants that they chose for the most romantic, most romantic, and out of the whatever groups that are on there. Um, we were number four. Feelings. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little bit of, so uh, if you don't already know, paprika is just dehydrated red bell pepper, yep. right, mushed up together. So we're gonna do a little, um, little crown there. Beautiful. And then uh, you might have prettier mint than me. Uh, honestly? Oh, no, no, you know what, this is actually pretty erect. Oh, oh, look, look at that guy. Yeah, he's, he's good. All right. 99 cents. Yeah. 99 cent store. $14 <laughs> mint. Yeah. Mm, hold that stuff up. Wow. There we go. Uh, so it's a dinner and a salad. It's kind of a thing. <laughs> that is gorgeous. I love it. All right, cool. I love it. So this is gin of the jungle. The gin of the jungle. Uh, a little straw in there for you. Stoked, baby. Oh, Let's do this. I hope you dig it. Ooh, swirly straws. Swirly straws. Swirly, you can never go wrong with swirly straws. The oh, that, that is outrageous. Yeah, can I try it now? Yes, that is outrageous. <laughs> Wowzer. Uh, so oh. what's, what's cool about this is you can switch oh. the gin out for rum, and it's actually really yeah, good. Yeah, for right sure. I can see that, yeah. I mean, I think that the rum, like a, you get a nice dark, like a demerara or a, mm -hmm. something like that that like, sort of sticks out there, sort of cools it off. Mm. But man, that is great. Mm, I am so, flavors. I'm actually so glad I took that shot of the Pablano <laughs> a syrup before. And yeah. not only because my stomach is now revolting against me. Uh, that's, uh, that's some good hot stuff. More reason for the glass. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but also because now I like, I, I can definitely taste that all the way through that cocktail. It Visible. really did well. Oh, good. good. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, my, that's my, awesome. My tongue's getting that, uh, that fatigue thing. So I guess we should just keep drinking until it gets back to normal. I think so. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, let's, uh, uh, there's been a few calls for the uh, Zombie King, so oh. can we knock that out? I promise I will be as calm as possible. I won't ask you a lot of questions. Let's no just problem. knock out a Zombie King. This is not okay. a gin cocktail. Uh, this is on your new menu. It, so for the Zombie oh. King actually has been with us for uh, some time. Okay. Uh, it's always been on our menu, and it's been one of the most popular oh, drinks great. on that menu. Um, so that's, that's what's super cool, but the mug is new. Uh, there, there, so I don't know if you're aware of this. There was like a, a lot of people got a cold uh -huh. over the last year. Sure, I've heard and, of it. Uh, things yeah, have slowed down. Became, bats became uh, in the news again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't. Why has nobody made a bat cocktail? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just yeah, we're okay. <laughs> on our way. <clears throat> so the zombie king uh, came about. Uh, are, are you familiar with? Can't get any more bartender than yeah, that. That's all I'm saying. I'll get it going. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a lot of that one. There you go. However, so, I can drive this into my belly. It's getting in there. Kenny Ooh. Chesney's blue chair coconut oh, wow. rum. Right? Yeah. It's actually like a nice toasted oh, coconut. Yeah. It's not overpowering. It's not Malibu. It's you not know what's great is I can actually taste rum in it, which is really nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's not just coconut. And then uh, Ed Hamilton's pimento dram. Yeah, of course. Yeah, right, right. I which love is, the pimento uh, dram. Just crack. Yeah. We, uh, uh, yeah, I love this stuff. Um, so we're gonna do that. An ounce of that. So it's an ounce of the coconut, an ounce of this. We're gonna do a half an ounce of cinnamon syrup. It's two to one. Um, we do everything two to one. Uh, it's just faster. Yep. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and not less water. No, exactly. We're trying to think the planet, right? Right, Literally. exactly. Uh, yeah. All right. And then we're going to do a Hamilton 86. We're going to do a half an ounce of this. This creates balance for okay. the drink. I'm not done yet. There's more. Sure. It's a zombie for crying out loud. Yeah, yeah. Um, so a little half ounce of Ed Hamilton's 86. Um, 
86 is uh, name is what the proof is. It's a, a yeah. It's not because we're out of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's 43 percent. Bad marketing on that one. There, right? <laughs> uh, and then blackstrap run. Oh, duh, black which uh, run. which blackstrap? The uh, Cruzan blackstrap. Is Cruzan, blackstrap? of course. Uh, yeah, there's gotta be another black strap. Uh, not that I can think of right now. You might okay. be right. That might be no, the only no, black I, strap I, rum. God. Please you let me know right. if there's another black strap. I yeah. would like to. Uh, the Apostle T, he will write here any second and let okay. me know. Okay, I'm, well, with a name like that, I would Yeah, he's yeah. the Apostle. Okay. He's the greatest. So another ounce of that. Do we know who he is? Or oh, is yeah, yeah, no, no, he's, oh. uh, he's a, a friend of mine. Okay, cool. <laughs> he's, a, he's a good buddy. Yeah, he's, just, <laughs> he's just not some random yeah, no, he's a good buddy. He's, just, he's the Apostle T, he's just he's a good buddy of mine. He's a stalker. Yeah, he's a, <laughs> yeah. Very, very nice guy, his name's Reed. He's Look awesome. A half an ounce of lime juice, or sorry, is it half an ounce? It's a full ounce. It's a full ounce of lime juice. Full ounce of lime juice, yeah. Full ounce of lime juice. I gotta look at my wife to make sure. <laughs> it's so great. There's nothing better than creating a drink and then completely forgetting the rest yeah, of it. Yeah, sure. I mean, literally. Uh, <laughs> Never gonna get invited back here. Uh, 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 Reed, uh, the, the Apostle Tiki, just wrote back Blackstrap. So I don't know if. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Reed. Not super helpful, but mm. I do appreciate you, Reed. Solid the work, Apostle, my getting it going. Yeah. Uh, oh, and then an ounce of pineapple juice. Yeah. Um, pineapple juice in your in your zombie. I told you I'd shut up. I'm uh, no, 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 no. It's okay. Sorry. Hey. Sorry. If, just interested. If, if, uh, just interested. If cocktails didn't evolve, we wouldn't be where I'm You're today. right. But that's I mean, exactly what I was mentioning before. Yeah. How many variations of the Mai Tai are there? A billion. Right? I mean, 10 billion, uh, probably. You took, but it's a zombie king, so I mean, it's zombie because yeah. it's a big drink and there's lots of alcohol, pineapple juice in it, I know, but. And then uh, I'm gonna step out of camera for a that minute. That is the only one he knows of. Okay, uh, is that one. While you're stepping out of camera, just real quick, uh, if I could, uh, just so everybody that is watching right now, uh, just so you guys know, uh, we will be having a giveaway next week on the show. We will be giving away bar sets. Full bar sets. We will have all of the details uh, next week. So uh, we have uh, a jigger set, uh, we have a shaker, uh, we do have a Hawthorne strainer. Uh, we will absolutely uh, get deep into the spoon territory and one of these, a half to one jigger. Uh, so if you are looking to win a bar set signed or not, if you if you by prefer Tammy. it not signed, uh, you can have it signed by either me or Tammy or both of us. Uh, if you want Greg, our camera guy, to sign it, yeah. Kevin, who changes uh, the uh, picture, uh, Martin, Sterling, Dean, back there, uh, Sterling. And, uh, if you want any of us to sign, if you want Ying to see your team Ying, we will have team, we will have Ying sign one. Uh, this week just in case. Uh, so do tune in next week so that we can uh, start giving these guys away. Uh, and that's what I want to say. I'm excited we'll, for the winners. We will not be giving away, we will not be giving away uh, coasters this week. Next week though, uh, we'll be doing that whole thing. So while we're yeah. doing that. Anyway, okay. I said I wouldn't talk and then I did a whole commercial. No, so. no, I appreciate yeah. that. No, <laughs> right. Yeah, that's uh, making me look a little bit less uh, unprepared, so I appreciate it. No, that. you nailed it. You're nailing it, son. Black walnut bitters, oh. little black walnut bitters. Oh, like second favorite bitters. Oh, yeah. second favorite bitters. Cherry number one, Yeah. black walnut number two. Black Manhattan walnut bitters. Baby. Baby. We do so I do a make a, that a red hook and you got me all day. Oh girl. Like this. Oh man. We should never be in the same room together. We'll end up No no no. You and I you and I would definitely open up credit cards in each other's name. For sure. We would <laughs> we would be we would get into some trouble, sir. Honey, we I'm would get into you some trouble. For Scott. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two dashes of uh, Angus Sir bitters yep. and we're all done with that bad boy. Cool. Um oh, I had something funny. Oh, uh nope, I forgot it. Anyway, anyway so moving on. Uh, we're gonna do a little shaky shake. Yeah. Uh, that is not the technical term. I do not recommend using that at your bar. <laughs> the shaky shake. The shaky shake. Unless we call it the pump and dump if we don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, if we don't, uh, if we don't use fresh ice, it's the pump and dump, pump. which I later found out is a term for when uh, women uh, are breastfeeding and they have some uh, caffeine or something. Yep. They pump and then they dump it out. I did not realize I was yelling that across the bar. Or too. if you're old as me, yeah, uh, smoking the bandit. That's where you take a poop. Right. The pump. Yeah, of the course. Pump and dump. Yeah. 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 Pump and dump was probably not the best thing we could have called that uh, that thing. Yeah. The pump Kids and dump. Are down in Anaheim. Do your Self a favor, uh, order a trio, order a, a quintuplet uh, of what these, these guys have going on at Strongwater Anaheim. This is so, so good. Thanks, Dude, man. it was so nice meeting you. We you just did. met today, earlier today. I don't know why we haven't known each other for I'm gonna uh, give much him a promise ring after this. Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait. I got eight fingers left, baby. Uh, one is one is my wedding ring and one is my uh, nice. my ring to the bar. It's a, it's a bottle oh, opener. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, married I... in two different ways. Um, <laughs> uh, but either way, uh, 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 Robert Adamson, it was so, so wonderful uh, mm -hmm. to have you on. Uh, please, don't be a stranger. Oh, I would, back. I would come back uh, in a heartbeat. just not here, just yeah. come up to Cush's Tiki Bar oh, and hang well, out either with way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love to, love to have you bless that spot. That would be fantastic. Um, uh, that is that, guys. I appreciate it. Next week, Tammy and I uh, will be back together. Uh, we will have a... Um a contest uh, going on. Uh, do you want to plug your uh, Instagram one more time or anything else you got going on? Oh, just <clears> drink sorry, that drink. Sorry, yes, sorry. That's awesome. I wasn't sure I had a speaking role. No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't know if you were either. <laughs> but then I, I saw some motion back here. I was like, Oh God, I'm doing. I'm not doing Tammy's uh, job, right? So uh, checks out at StrongwaterAnaheim.com. Yep. Uh, Strongwater Anaheim on uh, Instagram and Facebook. And then of course, if you need anything, you can reach me at Blackstrap Rob. Uh, if you want to talk to my wife, she's hospitality orchestrator. On Team IG. Ying. Yeah, oh, yeah, dude, honestly, just talk to her. She's awesome. way smarter than I am. Uh, uh, thank you guys so much for coming uh, for coming this week. We will see you next week. Tammy and I will be back together, and uh, that is that. Thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you guys. And uh, as Tammy says, cheers. Cheers. Oh, sorry, cheers. It's a sipper. It's a sipper. <laughs> Are we supposed to freeze?